Now hello and welcome back to another episode of Cars and Engineering. Today we're going to be making one of these little resistor packs for the N249 and N112 delete. Stay tuned. Now, as I said in the intro, today we're going to be making one of these little resistor packs. These are 330 ohm resistors and they're to stop an engine management light coming up when we unplug all of the extra vacuum lines and that sort of stuff that we don't need. So I made this one earlier. This is the 330 ohm resistor and here are the two little pins where it sits into the socket. Now I need two of these so I made this one off camera to sort of get a gist of what I'm doing but I'm going to make another one on camera so if you want to do it yourself then you can. And as always, there will be a list of everything below in the description. Right, so let's get started. First of all, I bought these little prototype circuit boards of eBay. I think they're about £2 something. And the good thing about these is you can crack them off into smaller pieces with a pair of side cutters. That's, that's all I did. It started life as a big one, ended life with a little one. I've left the heat shrinking off of this, which is going to protect it just for demonstration purposes but I will shrink that on so it'll be like that be like a little black pack as such so then you can plug it in and then that's out of the way you can tie it back into the loom you can put whatever you want on it this is what I've done just to keep it secure you don't have to do it I suppose but it's going to protect it a little bit better than anything else I think this is 20 mil or 24 mil wide heat shrink yeah, look. No, it is 43 mil. No, 41 mil wide. Right, so what you want to do is you know break one of your resistors out of the resistor pack. You'll need one for now. Also you can I think you buy them packs of ten. I don't think you can buy them with less than that. But they were pennies, so I'm using three by the actual three deep and then the actual length of the board itself. So then, put that in like that. In like that. Right, so I'm gonna get that sitting as straight as I can currently. Right, so I've got that in there now. I'm gonna pull them back so we will be soldering here and here on the board because as you can see the board's running parallel to each other so if I put it obviously that way the power's not going widthways it's going lengthways up the board hence the lines so I need to solder that there and solder that there and then our pins coming out will be here and here like this one you can see that's soldered so then it's straight through there comes up here through there through the resistor up here through that one so that's exactly what we need to do with this one. But before I do that, I'm going to strip these cables down and put two terminals on. So that's one done. That's the second one done. They are roughly the same length already, but I'll just sort of Cutting them down slightly. Oh no, that'll be alright. So I need to strip the actual ends, the other end, obviously that's the terminal end, I need to strip the other end.
And what you can do is you can find out the corresponding holes and they're going to go up through the circuit board itself. Right, so that's the first one in place. Now this wire here is slightly too big to get through these little holes. They do vary in size because they're just they're just prototype boards, so they're not exactly high standard, but exactly what we need. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut a few of these copper strands off and then twist them round. fit up here right so that's through now just going to twist it across right, so I'm making sure they are straight they are up so I can solder these two joints as well that one that one so we're going to come through here I'm going to solder this one I'm going to solder this one I'm going to solder that one that one and then the resistor itself. So I'm going to charge up the actual iron itself because it's a gas powered draper one. Again, the link will be down in the description for it if you want to buy it. Just let it warm up for a few minutes. Right, so now that's warmed up, I'm going to solder the joint. Now I'm going to solder these two on here at the very front and make sure these are parallel to each other, nice and straight. Right, so that's the front ones. All we have to do now is solder in the actual resistor itself to the board. Right, that's all the soldering done. So you can tell it's exactly the same as the last one. Just got to do some trimming now. So it's going to be quite hot. So if you do do this, so you don't burn yourself. Cut these off, don't need them anymore. Right, so as, you, as you can see, it's exactly the same, just bigger. I've made these longer because I've made these too short, the prototype. They would be okay to sort of slot in, but I wanted more movement so there wasn't under strain. So, anyway, we have these like this. Just going to trim that off the top, trim that one off the top, clean it up with a wire brush. Right, so now we have to split the actual little board that we need off of the actual big board itself. Now, this is quite tricky because it's quite a fragile board. So, I'm literally going to get a hacksaw and score a line across. that to create a weakness and then in theory I should just be able to snap it but I don't think that's deep enough yet so I'm going to keep going
then just like that, snap the board off. Trim it off. Trimmed up a little bit. I've left a little bit more on. That one there snapped. So I didn't have a choice. It's still like safe and still good. But that is the better one. Now all I've got to do is get some heat shrinking off the top. See the solders are good. Now I'm gonna heat shrink the first one I did because this is cut to size already. Put it in there like that. Hold these two prongs. And just slowly melt it. Right now this may be a little bit overkill but my light has just died so So you can see that it's now shrunk around the actual circuit board itself, even if it was with a blowtorch. But you have to make do with what you've got, I suppose. But you can see how there's a little sleeve here left. So I'm going to cut that off because it doesn't look that tidy. So as you can see, that's a little resistor pack, that's what's inside. And literally, when I do the actual delete video, these are just going to be a case of literally just plugging them in and then electrical taping them into the loom. You can cut the actual plug off and just solder that straight on, but <laughs> it's a, it's a, you could do it, I'm not saying you can't, but I find this will just be easier because literally you can have the little pack like that, you're going to plug them in bit of electrical tape, done. And then if and when you take the car for a remap, then it's purely just unplug these, just tie the plug up somewhere, or you can leave these in, tied up, it's entirely up to you. They're cheap, I think they cost me probably less than a pound to make each. I think the, the most I paid was for delivery on parts. But as I said, they will all be down in the link below. Thank you very much for watching. Please make sure you subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.